Standard deviation is a statistical measure that quantifies the variability or dispersion of a set of data around its mean. It tells us how far on average the data values are from their mean. The formula for standard deviation from group data of a population is slightly different from that of a sample. In this video, I will show you both formulas and I want you to spot at least five differences between that of a sample and that of a population. The formula for standard deviation for an ungrouped data or individual series data of a population is given by sigma equals the square root of the summation of all squared deviations from the population mean of the first value to the nth value all divided by n. While the formula for sample standard deviation for ungrouped data is given by s equals the square root of the summation of the squared deviations from the sample mean from the first value to the nth value divided by n minus 1. I'm sure by now you must have spotted a lot of differences. Here, lowercase sigma represents the population standard deviation, while the Latin letter S represents the sample standard deviation. Uppercase sigma from i equals to 1 to capital letter N is a summation of all the population values from the first to the last, while uppercase sigma from i equals to 1 to lowercase n is a summation of all the values in the sample from the first to the last. X subscript i is the value of each data element in the population, while x subscript i here is the value of each data element in the sample. mu is the population mean of the data set, while x bar is the sample mean. And uppercase n is the number of data elements in the population, while lowercase n is the number of elements in the sample. So we read that of the population as the square root of the average of the squared deviations from the mean of all the values in the population. While we read that of the sample as the square root of the sum of all squared deviations from the mean of the sample divided by the sample size minus 1. Easy peasy. Now, how many differences have you been able to spot? Can you list these differences in the comment section below? Now, if you want to see how these formulas are used to solve real world public health problems, then feel free to watch this video here as well as this other video right here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out my channel for more awesome statistical contents. And as always, Thanks for watching.